If you're wondering why we do geophysics, you just need to look at the valley behind me. You'll see that it's covered with a thick layer of soil. We use geophysics to see underneath that soil to determine what the rocks are underneath it. So a geologist would be able to look at the rocks in the valley behind me and they would probably connect those different rock types together and make a geological map. However, using geophysics, we can map in between the rocks that are outcropping. So for example, we know in this valley there's a large fault zone that we found with the magnetic method. It showed up as an area where the magnetic values were much less than the rocks on either side. But because that fault is under cover, we weren't able to see it as geologists mapping the surface. In geophysics, we like to use a variety of different methods. So for example, we can use resistivity, which tells us about how conductive the rocks are, in addition to magnetics. They tell us different things about the rocks. In this case, we have a fault zone running through the area, and the resistivity will tell us if that fault zone might be containing water, because the water would be slightly more conductive than the rocks surrounding it. And that's a good application of the resistivity method. Another method we can use is the seismic method. In this method, we use a weight drop or a hammer to hit the surface, and the energy travels into the ground. This energy is then recorded at geophones, where we can measure the velocity of the different layers. One application of this method is to look at the soil thickness and tells us how thick the soil is over an area. We can also look at how weathered the rocks are, and in fact, how deep it is before we get to the fresh rock beneath it. Ground penetrating radar, or GPR, is one of the most common geophysical methods used in the construction industry and in infrastructure development. We use it to map the shallow subsurface, or the top 10 meters. It can be used, for example, at a construction site to find loose pipes that are underground that we may not know the location of, or even rebar within concrete. So you can see why geophysics is important. It allows us to see into the subsurface and to record details of the rock structures that otherwise would be lost. This concludes the video on why geophysics is important.